For love is as strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. Half dust on my boots a thousand cathedrals. I, have taken I think it's poetic that we're gathered here in this butterfly conservatory. When you think about the journey of a caterpillar into a butterfly, there is something incredible that happens. You start out with one thing, and you end up with something entirely different, and incredibly beautiful. And I think the same thing can be said about your relationship. When the two of you first met, you were two very distinct people. But with time, you have grown to understand and appreciate one another. Something that happened was transformation. I'm a very happy man today. My beloved son, Rani, my youngest son, he's a married man today and he has a charming wife. I'm really so pleased with the choices that he made. In, in the email to my own brothers and sisters in Trinidad, some of the adjectives I used about Sheba, I said to them, she's very humble, she's very kind, she's very caring and loving and that they would like her very much. We came to Canada in 2012. God has brought us to Canada through a dream that I saw. In 2006, I saw a dream, and that dream brought us here. We had no, no doubt that God is bringing us to this country. But what amazes me is the way God led us in these years beautifully and I believe God has brought you together when God brings two people together it's so wonderful step in faith. In the years ahead you will need both strength and gentleness. Be firm in your commitment. Don't let your grip become weak and yet be flexible as you go through change. Don't let your hold become intolerable. Strength and gentleness, firm commitment and flexibility of such as a marriage made hand in hand. Ronnie. Do you take Sheba to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Sheba, do you take Ronnie to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live i do for as much as you ronnie and you sheba have covenanted together in marriage and have witnessed this before god and our gathering affirming your acceptance of the responsibilities of such a union and have pledged your love and faith to each other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. And so let people here and everywhere recognize and celebrate this holy union now and forever. Amen. Ronnie, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.